And by now, it has been well established that for the survival of all kinds of living species, one of the two things which are vital are air and water. But with the amount of pollution created by us, it is impacting these two vital sources. And in a bid to bring down air and water pollution, the European Union, comprising of 27 member countries, has come up with a detailed plan to bring down the pollution to zero by the year 2050. The European Union's executive uh, pr proposed three laws targeting health and environment sectors which are damaging air and water. Mm -hmm. The plan calls for a revision of the EU legislation, the ambient air quality directives and the urban wastewater treatment directive. And by doing this, they would be introducing regular reviews, more than half the annual limit for fine particle pollution in the air and make wastewater treatment more effective. For instance, by recovering more nutrients from it for recycling use. And uh, according to the European Union's executive, by 2030, EU countries must meet new legally binding air levels. And by 2050, the European Union should achieve the goal of zero pollution. Now, this comes as air pollution causes 300,000 premature deaths in Europe each year. To have a zero pollution environment in 2050, we need to step up action today. We have ample reason to do so. Each year, about 300,000 Europeans die prematurely as a result of air pollution. Many more suffer from lung diseases or pollution-induced cancers. Although Europe's air quality has improved over the last decade, many countries still breach the current EU limits. The European Court of Justice has found countries, including France, Poland, Italy, Romania, guilty of illegal air pollution. And in addition to that, the new EU rules would also ensure that citizens can claim compensation if their health suffers as a result of illegal air pollution, including through collective class actions. Air pollution is still the largest environmental threat to our health and serious challenge to our economies. The impacts are worst for most vulnerable, notably children, the elderly, people with certain medical conditions, and economically disadvantaged. It's clear that we need to do more here and that we need to act with determination. 